from the minute you walked in and sat down on that stool and talked to us about your heart and your passion for worship, I knew that you were the one that um, I personally had waited for as a minister of music all my life. You have been mentor, you have pushed me to be more than I ever could with my music. You have been a friend, you have been my pastor. I walked in after my dad died and there you were, you and Rebecca. I have loved Pastor Roger's emphasis on worship. I think if he had a motto, it would be something like, we practice to worship, we don't practice to perform. It's not about a person, it's not about a group of people. And I think he has fostered this attitude of, of laying down at the feet of Jesus our worship and our praise and the glory that is to him. Hi Roger, I'd just like to say thank you for being a wonderful leader, mentor, for your guidance, uh, but more than anything, thank you for the example that you set for all of us on how to be a man of God who loves him and, and serves him. Thank you. Pastor Roger, I just wanted to thank you and I have really enjoyed working with you for the past um, 10 to 11 years. I have really enjoyed it a lot in the sound booth. I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful for the worship ministry that we have been involved in together. Um, I really appreciate all of your mentorship and just pointing all of us towards the Lord in our walks. You have encouraged me immensely along the way. We've been through a lot of things together. Roger, I can't believe you're finally retiring. Brother, we've served in two churches together. I uh, have some great times, great memories of serving the Lord with you. Uh, but you've been a friend, you've been a prayer partner, you've been a confidant, you've been a mentor, and I have truly been blessed to serve alongside you. I was just thinking about six years ago when I was joining the Swift Creek and the two of us had lunch together. We made such an amazing connection as brothers. I'm so grateful for you as, as my brother. My prayer for you and Rebecca going forward is that God anoint you, and I'm, I'm grateful that the Lord brought you into my life. Roger and Rebecca, thank you for your example of worshiping God with your life while serving Him in ministry. You have encouraged, inspired, and taught me so much. I'm so grateful for how God has knit our hearts together. I love you. When I think about Pastor Roger, I think about his intense love for the Lord and how it just radiates in everything that he does. As our worship leader, he has helped bring me and so many others in closer connection with the Lord. Because of Roger, I can say that I truly find joy in active worship. Because of Roger, I am truly changed.